So should you trim your beard yourself at home or should you go to a barber? We're going to talk about that in today's video. Welcome guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you've watched my channel at all, you know I'm a big advocate of uh, trimming my own beard, uh, learning that process. I really enjoy it. Uh, some guys don't. They'd rather go to a barber. So we're going to kind of talk about the pros and cons of each. Just have a little discussion here. Uh, and then I do have coming up some uh, some trimming videos. I've been letting my beard grow out and using some uh, beard supplements for the past three months. That time is coming to an end tomorrow. So I'll be doing a big final wrap up of that. And then we're going to get in here and trim this beard for the summer. So I don't know how short we'll go, but we're gonna, I got an idea. I want to see if I can get it as crispy as maybe a barber would do it. We'll see if we, I can do it or not. But if you think about it, a barber, you, you know, most of the time you think, okay, the pros is they're an expert at it. They've gone to school for it. And that's true for the hair. Well, I, w I will say that I've talked to several barbers that really didn't get a lot of training as far as beards go. So I think, yes, they're great with clippers, right? And the guards and doing the fade here, and they could probably do a reverse fade or do really well with short beards. When it comes to a longer beard, I think they're kind of like we are, uh, is they have to they get their own experience. And some uh, barbers are really experts at it, and they've done ton, lots of uh, beards, longer beards, shaped them into whatever shape that the customer wants. Uh, and then some maybe not have so much of that experience. So I think that's going to vary a little bit from barber to barber. Let me know if you've uh, run across that as you've talked to barbers about uh, how comfortable are they with, with longer beards. I think these days it's probably becoming more and more of a, uh, a known entity, right? Whereas maybe four or five years ago, trimming those big long beards maybe wasn't quite as, uh, as prominent as it is now. The biggest pro, I think, besides that experience that a barber has, is they have better viewing angles, right? We've talked about this in one of our other uh, uh, recent videos here about trying to, to do your cheek line. We had a whole cheek line discussion. Well, and most of the time barbers just come in with the little uh, clipper there and they get the little outline. You can't really do that yourself, all right? Um, as much as you can hold multiple mirrors, once you start having more than one mirror and you start trying to turn your angle, your clipper, you're going to angle it the wrong way because I've done it myself trying to cut my head hair. All right, so I'm going to focus mainly on beards, but this could also go for your head hair too. Like you can really get out here and see the angles. You can see the, the back angle here is really hard to see. Uh, I never quite do quite enough trimming at that back angle or get it lined up exactly like I want it. It's just hard. Like I can take pictures or do a panorama or try multiple mirrors, the handheld mirror, all that stuff, but it's just not the same. Same thing with it. Uh, I've, I've cut my hair before and I may try it again this summer um, just for the fun of it. But because uh, I enjoy the clipper work and the different guards and all that, but you, you got to hold your um, arms above your head for so long and you can't see this back here. Once again, you get into the idea of using multiple mirrors. It becomes really, really confusing sometimes on that. And I don't even think most barbers cut their own hairs. So I think they just go sit down in the chair and let somebody else do it. But I, I, I'm, I'm sure some do uh, as well. It just kind of depends from person to person. Uh, also, a barber will have more tools than what you have at home, right? They've got more experience. They also have more tools. Some of those, uh, the clippers and the scissors, the shears, if you will, um, they, they, they cost a lot of money and they kind of each have their own specific purpose, right? They've got the details and then they've got the ones that are zero gapped and get real right down to your skin. So they've got more, um, they've invested more. Most of them have to pay for that stuff themselves, but they do have um, a wider variety of tools. Now, I could argue that for home use and trimming your beard, this uh, the Brio Beardscape will be just about all you will need with the different guard lengths and, and all of that. But there are some use cases for some other um, other tools, especially the shears and some of that stuff. So uh, nicer tools overall is what a barber will have. Uh, uh, the other issue comes down to your personal preference, right? Um, when it's time. Uh, for some people, um, you know, the, the time invested to trim your own beard, to learn how to do it, to go through that process, that's not enjoyable for them. Um, they're not comfortable with it. They would much rather go sit in the barber's chair and let them do it, and they can kind of relax. I relax. Trimming my beard relaxes me. Sitting in a chair and let somebody else trim my beard does not relax me at this point. Um, so it just kind of depends. Like what what kind of self-care thing works better for you to, to invest it, invest the time yourself to learn how to do it or to 
invest in the experience and spending the money of going to have it professionally done. There's there's uh, use cases for both of that. I can definitely see. Let me know in the comments which ones you prefer. Uh, and by the way, you can always do a blend, right? You can trim your beard and your hair some at home, like the, the temporary kind of shape ups in between beard trims, uh, professional beard trims or professional haircuts. You can kind of have a hybrid. I think a lot of people do that. So go get a um, professional cut and then they can uh, kind of do some tweaking and, and manage it along the way and kind of spread out the time they go to see a professional, especially these days because it costs more money. Trimming at home is going to save yourself a little bit of money in the long run. Now, yeah, you may uh, spend a hundred uh, or so dollars to kind of get started. Depends on what you want to buy and that kind of thing. But overall, it's going to save, save you a little bit of money in the long term. Um, the other one is which one's faster? Like you can kind of mess around with your own beer for an hour uh, and then go back and look at it again the next day and the next day and keep fine uh, fine tuning it. It's messy. You've got to clean stuff up, get out the vacuum cleaner. And no matter how much you vacuum or wipe down the bathroom, you'll still get those little hairs all over the place if you're not careful. Uh, so that's, that's kind of an aggravating piece to it. The other issues, it may be hard to find a, uh, a professional that you trust that you can because you have to build a relationship. If you just do, do like me, I just go to great clips and whoever cuts my hair, cuts my hair. So I don't don't even though I, some of the same people have cut my hair over and over over the past few years. And we've kind of built up a relationship and it's a little bit different, right? It's kind of the personal touch you want to if you want to trust somebody completely with your beard. You want to um, establish that relationship. They know what you're wanting when you sit down in the chair and not have to ask you 20 questions about it. Uh, and there's also communication issues, right? And when that doesn't happen, when there's a communication issues, could be on either side, could be on either side, comes into play. I also think when you go to a barber, everything gets a little bit more aggressive, right? They end up taking off a little bit more than what you would do at home. Uh, and in one way, that's good because I think it's super crispy. Uh, I, th I think overall, you go to a professional, you're going to get shorter. It's going to look a little bit more crispy than it would if you try to do it at, at, at your house. Even though I'm going to try to get super crispy on this next beer trim, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, you talk about trying to trim it at home. It can take you some trial and error. And the error part is what we worry about. But, you know, it's just hair. It grows back. So it's not that big of a deal. But it does take time to do your research and your planning and all of that. And if you just don't want to spend the time to do it, if that uh, stresses you out, then that's probably not something you want to do. But there are tons of good tutorials available online. That's, you know, I've, I've watched tons of barbershop videos and watched the technique. And I really enjoy uh, that particular process. I've done a lot of tutorials here for you guys when I had a really short beard or also when I had a beard even longer, kind of a not exactly a super long beard, but uh, on the longer side of medium, we'll say, and just shows you all different kind of techniques to uh, that you guys can play around with. Uh, it's also convenient, right? You don't have to schedule an appointment. You, you, you can do this at five o'clock in the morning if you want. Uh, or you can do it on a Sunday afternoon, on a lazy Sunday, not have to go in and uh, get your hair cut uh, and make an appointment and uh, stick to a timetable that way. Uh, those were just some of the, the things that I thought about uh, kind of comparing and contrasting the pros and cons of going to see a professional to trim your beard or cut your hair or you guys trying to do it at home. Uh, let me know which one you prefer. Maybe I gave you a little food for thought about maybe why you end up doing what you do. Uh, you're just not comfortable with stuff or it stresses you out or uh, you don't have the extra time to do one way or the other. Uh, but as always, I appreciate you guys watching. By the way, if you have not checked out my video uh, for the 2000 subscriber, we are giving away a Brio Beardscape. As soon as we hit that 2000 mark, we're getting closer every day. So I appreciate that, guys. And we're going to be doing a couple of trims coming up with uh, the Beardscape. So make sure you're looking for that, as well as my uh, supplement series where we talked about collagen and um biotin and all of that stuff I've been taking over the past three months. So lots of cool stuff coming in summer. Uh, thank you guys for hanging in there with me. And as always, I appreciate it and we'll see you soon.